Good. Now, as I say, I've been away for a week. Nothing changes uh, other than the Home Office become more and more desperate to find accommodation as hotels are filling up. We don't know the number, but it's well over 300 now hotels that have filled up around mm. the country. Mm. Um, the Albanian question. Mm. I mean, this I, I think this has changed the nature of the debate. You know, prior to July, the big argument was, well, maybe, Nigel, they could be legitimate. Mm refugees to which I'd respond well, why are they all young men mm. but but now there are people coming from this safe country of Albania mm. it appears Tony we do what I mean we're doing nothing um, what should what could we do so I think you're right in that the what we call the cohort, so the complexion of the people on the boats has changed significantly this year. We heard from Commander Danamani at the Home Affairs Committee yep. saying that actually yep. a very significant number of those coming now actually come from Albania, which isn't a country that's renowned for persecuting groups of its own nationals on grounds of religion or political opinion, perhaps like Syria or Afghanistan maybe. So I think that's a different uh, killer fish really, and we've had this before when I was in the UK border agency, we had something uh, which was actually called a detained fast track process, right. which meant that those people that were identified by triage on arrival, so they have to be brought ashore, looked, looked after, make sure they're well, all of those things that we're obliged to do under the safety and law of the sea are done very, very quickly by highly trained officers, but they don't necessarily get sent on into a hotel or inland even. They would be put in a purpose belt facility. Detained. Detained in a facility. That's the key word, isn't yes, it? Yes, because we do have powers to detain illegal entrants. They are illegal entrants. A lot of lawyers will be watching this arguing about the word illegal. But there is such a thing as illegal entry, and there is a power vested in the Immigration Act 71 to detain illegal entries, provided you've got an eye on removal, Nigel. You must be able to show there's a realistic prospect of removal. My contention that in those cases there probably is, because I think the asylum application, if it's made, is unfounded and can be proved to be unfounded quite quickly. There are other issues. Many are claiming to be victims of human trafficking. I think if the right resources are put in there. But what you need to do is put your enforcement officers, your border force officers, your casework officers all right there 24-7 in that facility. So this can be dealt with really, really quickly. Even an appeals court, if you need one. That, that um, all makes sense, Tony, to me. But, you know, 1971, since then, we've had the Human Rights Act, which, of course, incorporated uh, within it the, the, the European Convention on Human Rights and, and, and various declarations of the United Nations. We also had the Modern Slavery Act, which I think the Tories are now beginning to regret having passed. Is it possible to do these things? Is it possible to deport people who've, who've entered the country illegally in the eyes of border forces, you did in your day. Is it possible to do it all the while the Human Rights Act's in place? Well, this has been the problem, has been this kind of judicial overreach of, of articles, international articles like the Convention on Human Rights, which, as you say, is now incorporated into, uh, into domestic legislation, human slavery laws. These are all well-intentioned laws to protect us, uh, ourselves, our own human rights, and our, ourselves not being victims. Of but I think they've gone too far, Nigel. They've now actually opened the door to the kingdom. And essentially, well, all you've got to do is make a claim under these, these articles. So there, I think there is a case for changing the law. I'm not a lawyer, so no, I don't sure. know. Uh, whether we actually completely demur from the convention or not, uh, but I would want really good lawyers. If I was Suella Braverman, I'd be bringing in the very, very yeah, best lawyers. I mean, I